Hey, what's up everybody? This is Chicken Possible with Rewards Hunter, back with another Microsoft Rewards Punch Card Guide. And this is going to be part 12 of our Day of the Tentacle Remastered series. If you have not watched parts 1 through 11 and collected all those achievements, those will be linked in the description. So, we've got the July monthly bonus round that you may be seeing within the Rewards app. So we'll go ahead and take a look at that. We've got two weeks to do this like we usually do, and we'll get some sweepstakes entries for completing this, plus 2,000 Microsoft Rewards bonus points. So the first thing we need to do, of course, is to run some Bing searches on five different days. Now you can do this on any device you wish. You can even do it on your Xbox here. Task number two is to complete three of the daily sets. Now you can do that on pretty much any device as well if you just go to account.microsoft.com slash rewards. Or if you click this link, it'll just open it within the Bing app on your Xbox as long as you've got that installed. And here is the daily set right here. These three activities, finish those up and you will complete one of the daily sets. So that's pretty much it. And you can just press B to switch back to the Microsoft Rewards app, but that will complete task two for you after you've done those three. Task number three is to earn three achievements in an Xbox One or Series X game. So we're gonna focus on that in the last half of this video. Task number four is to claim 500 points right here by clicking this link. If you decide to donate, you can donate to any of the nonprofits that are listed right here. And when you are finished, you can press B to switch back to the app again. So we've got task number four completed. Task number five is to complete a quiz. So click on that link and then click on start playing to start playing this 50 point quiz. And I'm just going to fast forward through all of my answers here like I usually do just in case you want to see which ones were the right and wrong answers. I think this was my best score so far. I got 45 out of 50. So pretty good. And then once the quiz is completed, make sure that you click on the link to exit quiz. This seems to work more reliably than clicking the other link. And then you'll want to switch over manually back to the Microsoft Rewards app. So if we scroll down, we should have a check mark on the quiz now, task number five, and then task number six will be to claim the prizes. I'll talk a little bit more about that at the end. But for now, let's go ahead and work on the three achievements in an Xbox One game. Again, this is gonna be part 12 of our Day of the Tentacle Remastered series where we grab all of the achievements within that game. If you missed out on parts one through 11, those are linked in the description. Part 11 came out just a couple days ago. So let's go over to the load game computer, click on that, and we'll go down to the E save slot. On the roof, we should be at 48%, and if we take a look at the achievement tracker, you should have 28.6 out of the 58 achievements in this game, and the very last achievement that we unlocked was the costume quest achievement on the roof with Laverne. So let's pick back up there on the roof, and we'll pick up where we left off and grab another three easy achievements within this game. It'll probably take us only about five minutes this time to get these three. So let's click just on the chimney to have Laverne go back through there and go back to the main hall area. Now be sure, like I always say, don't skip any of these cutscenes. You can press A to go through the dialogue a little bit more quickly, but never hold down the B button in this game because there's an achievement for not skipping any of the cutscenes. So you can just tap A to get through that if you like. And as soon as she comes out of the fireplace, we're gonna walk across the hall to this door on the far left. And then we need to actually head upstairs. So let's go past the ladies on the couch here and up the stairs. <laughs> Stupid tentacle. So over here in the ice machine is where we had Bernard actually stash the hamster long, long ago, I guess, in the past. So if we click on that and say, look at the ice machine, then Laverne will see the frozen hamster in there, and then you'll be able to press X on it and pick that up. So let's pick up the frozen hamster, and we're going to take it back downstairs with us. This will lead to a few different achievements. So let's head back down the stairway at the back of the hall there. And we'll walk past the ladies again and back to the main hall. So click underneath the red sign and go through that doorway. And we're gonna click on the door on the right to go through this one into the kitchen. And we're gonna use the microwave in just a minute, but let's click on the door to the right to go into the laundry room. Now you may remember that we had Bernard put all of his quarters in to dry 
the sweater that he found. So here it is, I guess many years later. So if we open up the door to the dryer, we can grab the sweater, which is now minuscule. <laughs> so let's pick up the sweater. So press X on it and choose pick up. Ooh, cute. So we'll get our first achievement right there for picking up a miniature sweater. And let's go out the door to the left and back to the kitchen. And we'll grab our other two achievements in the kitchen with the microwave. So the first one that we can get is by putting a fork in there. So press Y, select your fork, and then put it onto the microwave and try and use it there. She won't actually use it or do anything with it, but we do get our second of three achievements for that. And then the next one takes just a minute to finish up, but what we need to do is put that frozen hamster into the microwave in his ice block. So press Y, select the frozen hamster, and drag it up onto the microwave and try to use it there. And we'll actually defrost the hamster. Much better than the previous hamster achievement that we got last time. Well, it wasn't last time, it was a few parts ago, but y'all probably remember that one. things could really pop a hamster good. All right, so after she finishes talking about the hamster and warning us not to do anything of the sort, she will add him back to her inventory. And we've got our three achievements at this point. So once she finishes telling us not to do that ever, 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 then we'll press start and we'll go ahead and save. So let's go over to the right to the save disk drive, click on that. And I'm going to go ahead and save mine in the F slot. So there we are at the kitchen and 51% completed so far. So that's where you should be as well. So now we can switch over to the Microsoft Rewards app. Don't forget that you can click on the Achieve More, Earn More. I didn't actually show that in this video, but you can grab those 50 points as well. And then on subsequent days, we've got to do our searches and our daily sets, but we can go ahead and click on task three now to grab those points. And so we've got our third check mark, fourth and fifth check mark. And after you're done with the searches and sets on the subsequent days, then you'll be able to click on that sixth link to claim the prizes. And again, those usually take a few days to appear in the redeem section of the app, but you should see those after a few days, hopefully. So that's going to do it for part 12 of our Day of the Tentacle Remastered series. Catch me back here next week for part 13. Thanks for watching, everyone. If you found that video helpful, please be sure to click the subscribe button here on YouTube and hit that bell for notifications. You can also find some helpful links in the description of this video if you want to stay connected with us. Stay tuned for more Microsoft rewards and achievement guides, and I'll see you in the next one.